Welcome back to What Are Noobs for General Disturbance. This is an Object 430, it's a Tier 9 Soviet medium tank. It's located on the north spawn of El Halouf and it's under the command of Bearface. And alongside her is Steksky Steksky in the AMX-30 and Royal Flying Corps in the Waffenträger auf Panzer 4. Battle's about to start. Okay, we're off. Well, this is a dual perspective game and we'll be following Stetsky and Bearface. Raw Flying Corps is part of the platoon, but he didn't send in a replay, so we don't know exactly... Uh, we don't have anything to actually show from his perspective other than what we've got on show here. Well, the Object 430. It's got a 122mm gun, 390 Alpha, and it's quite fast for a medium, quite nippy. And, well, we're now watching Bearface take a position up on the hill. Stacks gear ahead of her. Can be a bit open up here. Start of a battle, you're more than likely going to get spotted by an enemy scout. And there is one down there in the valley, an ELC Evan 90. Bearface is trying to get a shot. He's going to appear next to that house, isn't he? Yep, there he is. Oh, she just narrowly missed him. The shell went flying straight past his side. And of course, she was spotted. And it's a batch at 25 ton in the, in the valley now as well. This is an encounter game, by the way. Oh, Artie's paying attention. That's the first of the Artie rounds coming in. I think he was guessing where Bareface was. Or he may have been responding to try and get um, um, Stesky, but failed. Right, well, we've got Royal Flying Corps over one side, Stesky nearby, and then Bearface. I hope I am pronouncing his name right. Is it Stex Stexky? ELC's making his way up, coming up this side. He could be a major danger to our RT and that T-28 prototype. We just lost our Bulldog to their T-49. They've got a force coming up this side of the map. That Batchat, that uh, Bulldog, they're both coming up. There's the Batchat. Progetto just took a round. I think that was Stesky. No shot. We can't see the bat chat, but he is. We know he's coming up. Here's the ELC. Oh, good shot. And he tr she tracked him. But he's, he's repaired his tracks and he's moving again. And he's headed straight over towards the RT. Oh, we narrowly missed him there. That could be costly to us because uh, the Lorraine is running. He's trying to get away. Even though he's one of the fastest RTs, he won't be able to get away from that ELC, and he's been killed. In the meantime, oh, that's Royal Flying Corps just been wiped out. He was taken out of the game by the Bat Chat. Stetsky's exchanging fire. We're going after the Bat Chat. Locked on. And he's gone. Took a round from the Bulldog. Oh dear, Stetsky's lost a lot of hit points, down to 26% of health. Progetto just got a shot in for 392, a high roll. It's a T28 on the other side of the valley. Progetto's still alive. We've lost both of the RT. They've both been killed by the ELC, so he's earned a, pers a Pascucci's. And, well, Bearface kills the T-28. And the enemy Pajetto has just been wiped out by our T-28 prototype. Here's the start of the battle from Stetsky's point of view. He's in the AMX-30, which is a Tier 9 French medium tank with a 105mm gun, capable of 390 Alpha. And it's quite fast, as well as very um, bouncy on the turret, but... The armour on the hull is pretty 
weak and that's why it has such speed so uh, yep you have to take care not to get shot by the enemy if you can help it because most things that touch you will go through well, Stetsky's taken up next to the bush and we can see uh, Bearface and Raw Flying Corps coming up behind okay nice little bush there I wonder if it's got something behind it okay ELC Ever 90 it's more than likely somebody behind there fired a round in not sure if there was somebody but he's blind firing that bush as well on the off chance there is somebody there okay well the 1390s found a batch at 25 ton oh just took a round from the bulldog and I think he was in one of the bushes we were firing at and that was a rare RT round coming in as well snapshot of the LC fails to hit we were seen I think that bat chat's coming up this way there he is oh nice shot 386 it's a low roll going to change position I think he's going to join Royal Flying Corps down this end or is he no change mind going back to the same bush again T49's come up this way nice high roll on that one we were spotted though and we've lost the Wizzy 132A Progetto. Yeah, good shot. 377, it's a low roll. We were spotted, so we've had to pull back. Otherwise, that bulldog will get another bite. There's that ELC Evan 90. Can we get a shot? Oh, their face just got a hit. Quick shake of the reticule. Tries the snapshot, but no, it doesn't work. Oh, with the bat chat and the T49 are having a go at Royal Flying Corps, and he's getting absolutely hammered by them. He gets one shot into the T49, goes for the ram kill, and he gets it. There's the bat chat, fires one in, he must be on reload, and he gets a ram. And Bareface finishes him off. So down to 422 hit points. Trying to get a shot on that Progetto. No. But Bareface gets a shot in. And he's low on hit points. Well, we're three tanks down on the enemy now. And there's the LC and he's going after the T28. Oh, and he's desperate. Yes, he's gone. He was desperately low on health. We've just been spotted again. I think that may have been the ELC. Popping up to get a shot that Conway. Into the engine bay. 412. That's a high roll. Can we get a kill shot? No, it went high. She pulled down straight away. Doesn't want to get return fire. There's the ELC. Stetsky gets him. Three tanks down on the enemy now. Okay. ISU 152 snapshot fails to hit. The enemy is still having a good fight over in the northwest corner of the map. And Bearface is now rushing across the valley, trying to get... Oh, that was the M41! Just got a shot into us. It's difficulty spotting the M41 because it's a light tank. It's got camo qualities on the move. 
And we've lost... Well, we've lost our batch at 12 ton. Well, they lost their Progetto, but our T28's still vulnerable because the ELC Evan 90 just killed our two of our RT and he's just going in to try and get the T28. Oh, we just missed him. And he's killed the T28. Can we get him as he comes out? No, just missed. Good try. Now we just got spotted as we were crossing. I think that may be the ELC though. There he is. Locked on. Oh, nice shot. Oh, almost flipped there. And an enemy RT ram would have got us if we carried on straight. So by clipping that rock and flipping, almost half flipping, we actually saved our neck because <laughs> the arty ram would would have hit us. Coming back to this side to help Bearface. She's going across the valley. Try and get shots on the enemy if they come into sight. Okay, we've got a Conway. The other side. Yes, nice hit. 406 high roll. Can we get a kill shot? Yes! Amazing shot there. Unfortunately, we lost the batch at 12 ton. Let's see what uh, Bearface is getting up to. She's found the bulldog. We've got no shots at the moment. The bulldog is doing circuits at the top of the hill. Very difficult to see him. There he is. Oh, snapshot didn't work. He's not exposing much of his body, although he is a one shot. He's 56 hit points. The ISU 152 is coming to sight, but the uh, Stetsky did kill the Conway. And there's the bulldog. He's spotting us. It's very likely the enemy RT is somewhere in that vicinity. And he's trying to protect. He keeps popping over to see where we are. Which makes me think that one of the tank destroyers or one of the heavy tanks they've the enemy heavy tanks have killed off in the northwest corner of the map, so they could be trying to come back here, this side of the valley, to wipe out Bearface. There's the ISU 152. Oh, she snapshots the bulldog and gets him. And she'll get behind cover before the ISU 152 can do anything. So hopefully Stetsky can do something shooting across the valley. She might get a shot on that ISU 152. If she pops up. No, he's gone around the curve, so no shots there. I now tend to think that the IS-3 and the other remaining tank is a T-34B. Oh, there's the M40. And he's one-shotted. The T-34B and the IS-3 are probably headed round towards Stetsky. And we can see the IS-3 is on the mini-map, but we can't see him. He's outside view range.
We'd have to get closer to see him. Well, it looks like Bearface is now going to try and find the Avrati. I think that may have connected. There he is. He's headed towards the cap. Oh, good shot. 429, it makes him a one shot. Is he headed this way? He is. Trying a blind shot. Unfortunately, we've lost all our teammates in the northwest corner of the map. Oh, Bearface has just found the RT. And she killed him. That's the M40, M43, but there's still another RT out there. Don't know where he is. And here comes the IS-3. He's 100% health. And we were spotted when we fired then. Need to stay beneath the rocks. Ideally, we want to get up on this side. He might try to take shots of this as we pop up. And he did, but he missed. Need to get behind this rock as quickly as possible. Now, if the enemy is not around the village, it could be that he's relocated. And seeing as this is an encounter game, he's probably gone in... Oh, he's in the cap! It's obvious now he's in the cap. Okay, he should be in a fairly easy kill. It's a GW Tiger Porsche, one of the slowest starties in the game, so that's probably why he went straight to the cap. Oh, and there's two in the cap now. So somebody else is with him. And it's the ISU-152. Oh, she fluffed the shot. ISU's trying to get around. He knows she's got a long reload, but he's not. He's risking it to try and push it. And she takes him out with one shot. He's much easier to kill. Oh, she allowed him to, allowed the GW to get the shotgun. And now she's rushing off to help Stetsky. She's definitely picked up a Pascucci's. And with that, she got a Top Gun as well. Back with uh, Stil Stilski. One hit into the IS-3. Can't get another one because he keeps going behind cover. Just the top of his turret. Nice shot! 371. It's a low roll, but it's a good shot right into the top of his turret. We still don't know where that T-34B is either. And somebody is capping. That's probably the RT. It's the GW Tiger P. It's very, very slow. There's the T-34. He's a one-shot. Yes! So that's four kills for Stetsky. Bearface is about to deal with what whoever's in the cap. It's the ISU-152 and the GW Tiger P. We're looking for the IS-3. Well, she's killed one of them. She got the ISU-152. And 
now she's killed a GW Tiger P, so it's now just up to Stetsky to find and kill this IS-3, and we win the game. Where's he gone? He must be around here somewhere. The AMX-30 is a nippy little tank. As I say, it's got very weak armor, but it's very fast. It's got a very nice gun and a very bouncy turret. He's hiding somewhere. He must have got behind us. There he is! One into his rear. Just need to get round him. We take a round. 381, but he can't turn his turret fast enough. Oh! Now get the other side of him. That's it. He can't turn his turret fast enough. Yes! Wins the game! Well done, Stetsky. 41 hit points left. Well done. Well, here's the end of battle results for that epic contest. And it was a first class tanker for Stetsky in the AMX 30 Premier Prototype. He managed to get the Hand of God, a Bruiser, a Duelist, a Fighter Badge, and a Fire for Effect out of the Minor Medals. Out of the Epic ones, he picked up the High Calibre for doing the most damage in that game, and he managed to get five kills in all in the end. The last one being that IS-3, it was so difficult, and his name was I Love Poland. Well, you may love Poland, it may be a lovely country, but on this occasion, you were the final part of the jigsaw that allows Stetsky to win the game. And if we look at his wife, because it is his wife in the other tank, Bareface, uh, she managed in the Object 430 to get a second class tanker, a duelist, a fire for effect, but she picked up a Pascucci's medal and a Top Gun for getting six kills. She killed both of the Arties and got six kills when she killed that last enemy, the uh, GW Tiger Porsche in the cap. And, uh, yeah, let's have a look at the team scores, see where everyone stood. Well, when it came to damage, it was Stetsky. He was actually doing more damage per shot than Bareface was doing because he was getting in sniping shots at long range. He picked up 5,522 hit points of damage in the game, whereas Bareface managed 2,495. Royal Flying Corps did do quite well as well. He got 1,536 hit points of damage. Sadly, though, he didn't get any kills. But the, pet, the wife and uh, husband and wife, between them, they managed to get 11 kills. They were just one short of getting a crucial contribution during that game, which would have given Royal, Royal Flying Corps a very nice reward for that game. But uh, unfortunately, no, he didn't end up with any medals. But uh, the when it came to XP, it was Stetsky who managed to get 1,240 base experience points. So he did very well indeed. Narrowly missing, I think, an ace tanker. And Bearface managed to get 939. And I know the reason why that was only a second class is the standard's very high for the Object 430. It's a popular tank. It's a very good Soviet medium. And I know a lot of people like to play it. And that's why the standard's so much higher. Even though she got six kills and, well, half as much damage as Stetsky did. But, yep. Yeah, it's a difficult tank to get an ace tanker in because so many people are playing this one. So let's have a look at detail report for uh, Bearface. And, well, she fired 20 shots in that game, got 10 direct hits, 9 penetrations, damage of 2,495 hit points, uh, of which 821 were at more than 300 meters, including that lovely shot on the ELC Evan 90. Unfortunately, didn't slow him down that much. Three hits received from the enemy. Only two of them were penetration. One hit by way of splash damage. She actually went out straight in front of that RT, even not caring about the fact that he was going to shotgun her. Uh, and if he actually, if she'd driven past the GW, she might have been able to shoot him in the side as she was leaving the cab and got him that way without getting splashed. But because uh, they're very slow to turn those GW P P Tiger Porsches. She spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged nine of the enemy, killed six and did 479 hit points of damage assistance and got 17 defense points in the cap. On a premium count, she earned 28,151 credits and after ammunition resupply and repair, she took home a profit of 4,620 credits. She got 939 XP. Times two for the first victory, got 2,818 from personal missions payout and 211 because she was playing in the platoon from the start and she took away 5,847 altogether. So if we look at uh, Stetsky's figures, 
and we can see that he fired 30 shots in that game. Got 16 direct hits, but 30, 15 penetrations. The 105mm gun on the AMX-30 is uh, very good at penetrating targets. It's, um, it is an excellent gun. 5,522 hit points of damage, of which 2,102 were at more than 300 meters. You can see he was sniping across the valley. He was getting very good hits on some of those uh, tanks at long range. Six hits received, five penetrations, one non-penetration. Yeah, I'm afraid this kind of proves exactly what I said about the armor being very weak on the AMX-30. It just lets the shells through. You can't afford to get hit. In fact, as you saw, Stetsky ended the battle on very low hit points indeed. He could have been wiped out uh, by that uh, um, IS-3, but he was lucky he wasn't and damaged eight enemy vehicles, killed five, and did 392 hit points of damage assistance. On that battle, he actually earned more credits, 49,664, but he did spend a lot on ammo, on premium ammo. He was firing heat, and therefore he did end up with a loss. Small loss, 23,457 credits. He won't worry about that because he'll make that back in no time at all. And he received 1,240 XP, Times two for the first victory and 3,700 from personal missions payout. And he got 279 for playing in a platoon. So he actually made more XP than his wife, 7,719 altogether. So a fantastic husband and wife game with Royal Flying Corp joining in as well. A little threesome. Um, <laughs> Not in the literal sense, but it certainly worked. And, uh, well, thank you so much for sending in this replay. It's always nice to see uh, a good game that we can put into a dual perspective. I think we do have some more lined up. It, they do take slightly longer to do these videos, but they are worth it in the long run. And I will try to get those ones done soon. I think we've got one involving different people. Um, and that was a, a treble uh, dual perspective, or treble perspective we'll have to call it um and that will be coming up very soon so uh, thank you for watching